you're gonna somebody's fishing plastic catching fish somebody's gonna pull up with live shrimp or minnows there goes his fish somebody pulls up with crocus there goes the fish you were catching with your shrimp somebody gonna pull up with pokies and there goes all your fish <laughs> Ah, oh, you're gonna go try to spot him. Ah, you got him. Oh, go on. Ooh, that's a good one. That's the one I was supposed to catch. He's in the grass, huh? Nah, he's out of it. Out. He's just strong. He just didn't like that hook. Might need a net for that one, huh? Oh, not mine. <laughs> Let me go get it. And I know to put my bait in the boat. <laughs> You could actually make another cast. I'm gonna be a little wild, bro. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yep. I got the net waiting for him right over here. This one got some shoulders, brother. Oh yeah. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. No better one. That's a little 2,500 that real you're using, huh? 3,000. Oh, 3,000. There we go, Brad. Uh -huh. there right to you. <laughs> you gotta pick the net up five feet to get it in the boat. <laughs> this is one of those, this is a uh, lemon fish. Yeah. Got Thank it. Thank you, sir. Nice one there. Oh, yeah. Eight, nine pounds. Oh, yeah. You can release that one if you want. We'll just keep uh -huh. the smaller ones to eat. Mine after my own heart. I was thinking the same thing. We were just, I'm just thankful to be able to have us catch it. There we go. Yeah. I'll bring us around. Go around the other side. Yeah, put the wind it all back. Show you what we're using. We're using some really large cockahoe minnows. Fishing under rattling, popping cork. You can hear it. About 18 inches deep. Today we're fishing in T. Kipp's boat. It's a 2400 Pure Bay, powered by a 300 Yamaha. How you like this boat, Kip? Love it. Only boat I'll ever own. It's actually the only boat on the market throwing it at. Has a jack plate, trim tabs, saltwater wash down come standard, not an option. Awesome. Has all the storage you ever gonna need, rod storage, built in, built in fish boxes, ice chests. Perfect boat, perfect family boat. And, and it catches fish. We were. <laughs> you got me sold, I think I'll get one next week. There we go. All right, red fish. There we go, brother. Finally. Oh, yeah. He ain't in the boat yet, but we... Uh, I think there's a good chance he'll make it in the he boat. We were on a bit of a dry spell there, brother. I don't know. He don't know he's hooked yet. A big drum. Oh, a big drum, yeah. You want me to net him? Yeah, might as well. Big drum. <laughs> oh, sorry. Forget how big this thing is. Uh. No, you work out, Brad. Use them muscles you got. <laughs> big old drum fishy. Right. I think he's got something on there. Uh, left side. Rubbing bottom. Rubbing bottom. Oh yeah. Well, somebody took a look, chuck, chuck out of them. Gar fish. Started deep. Fish on. A little trout, I believe, huh? Oh, yeah, oh, it's jumping out the water, whatever it is, it's a trout, yeah. All right. Little variety. He'll eat. Oh, will he? Got him, brother. Nice and thong. Well, Double he, hook. He took good. No wonder he was jumping out the water. 
I would be too. If you're me, too. All right. They died? No, they ain't dying. They just huge. Oh, yeah, they huge. <laughs> well, that's why you threw away the two me. Yeah. We got some three-pound three pound minnows over here we're fishing with. Thanks to Terry's live bait in Leeville. That's it. Got it. Got one, brother. All right. He ain't as big as yours. He's coming in awful easy. Oh, uh, yeah. The young one. Yeah. But he's still one. We released one. the last one because it was too big. We we're we going to release that one because he's too small. Yes, sir. But he's one. Little ones is better than no one. Oh, yeah. Then an old fish on. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, I had to stick it against my belly. It was pulling my wrist down. Keep them sized. You didn't get that good a hook set. Oh, yeah. I think this is Moby Dick. Ooh, of course, pulling the boat, Kip. Oh, that's the wind. <laughs> Go, this is, I think this is the biggest one yet today. Well, you're gonna have to be 13 pounds. That's what you want to eat earlier. Uh, maybe not. He ain't as big as that. Uh -uh, I know. He's just strong. He must work out. Oh. Big old good. Yeah. See the orange cork. Oh, I see good. the orange fish. The orange fish too. Hang on. Let me get him worn out. Oh. And he ain't 13, but he's close. Uh, we'll see. Uh, all right, all right. Come on, baby. I'm trying. Oh, this way. Uh, you pick him this way. Uh, get your head up. Get your head above the water. He's ours. Yes. That's a nice one, brother. Man, my forearm got to work out on that one. That's what I'm talking about. Really? That's two spots. Ten. It's just a little over ten. That's why he's a captain. And he's a real captain. He doesn't just play one on the TV. Look at this. He's got one on. What? Yeah. Check him out. Wow, he got a bad eye. A glass eye. <laughs> Check that out. Blonde in one eye. He must have caught him when they thought he was looking on. Yep. <laughs> well, Tony, enjoyed having you, man. Well, Kip, I want to thank you for putting me on some fish. If you want to come out and catch some fish like we did this morning, call T. Kip at Tidewater Charters. As always, I want to give a special thanks to our military, both active and our veterans. Until next time, keep on casting. <laughs>